Every new generation of 800 Series Diamond is a very special event for everybody at Bowers & Wilkins, and for good reason. This isn't something we do very often. Typically, it takes us between four and five years to produce each new range. It brings together everybody across the whole business, everybody in manufacturing and everybody in research and development. We all come together to produce the most advanced range of loudspeakers that we know how to make. A range that will be beloved by music lovers, by audiophiles, by critics, and by studio engineers the world over. For all of us at Bowers & Wilkins, the 800 series diamond is everything that we know and everything that we are. Now I know you can't wait to dive into the details of the new range, and don't worry, we will get there soon. But before we do, it's worth recapping on the story of the 800 series so far. Now the story of 800 series begins in 1976. Our founder, John Bowers, was determined to improve upon the performance of the loudspeakers he'd been able to develop so far. So he initiated a then unprecedented three-year research project with no constraints. And the aim was to come up with the most advanced design possible. The end result was the Model 801, which emerged in 1979. It got its name very simply because it was the first generation of Bowers and Wilkins loudspeakers designed for the 1980s. Now, very quickly, it became hugely popular and successful with recording studios across the world. It wasn't originally designed as a studio monitor, but its unique configuration with a mid-range drive unit mounted inside a dedicated separate enclosure made it perfect for the task of really accurate monitoring of sound. Before long, Abbey Road Studios, Skywalker Sound, and many other famous studios across the world were using the loudspeaker to help create content. We have a saying that music that will soon be heard everywhere is heard first on Bowers and Wilkins loudspeakers, and it's the 801 that inspired that. Even if you've never been fortunate enough to hear either an 801 or any other 800 series diamond loudspeaker, the chances are you've experienced something that it has contributed to because this loudspeaker has been used to create some of the most famous pieces of film sound and music sound in the last 35 to 40 years. If you saw Return of the Jedi, if you saw Lord of the Rings, if you saw more recently Skyfall or 1917, the music scores for those films were made and monitored using 800 series loudspeakers. Similarly, from the music point of view, everything from Pink Floyd in their pomp to the contemporary Call of Celeste, it's all been done using 800 series loudspeakers. So of course, we've evolved 800 series over time. It's no longer just one model. Now there are multiple different variants within the 800 series lineup, depending on your requirement. Whether you have a large room or a smaller room, we have something to suit. At the same time, we've also added a whole series of advanced new technologies to try and improve performance. For example, in 1987, the addition of the Matrix cabinets. In 1998, the curved and iconic Nautilus cabinets, which have since become a hallmark of the range. In 2005, the addition of diamond tweeter dome technology with this advanced high frequency performance that again was so important to the range, we actually incorporated it into the model name, becoming 800 series diamond. And then most recently in 2015, our latest third generation of 800 series diamond with continuum mid-range cones. So that's the history of the range. Now it's time to take a look at the future. I'm gonna introduce you to the fourth generation of 800 series diamond. We begin with a five strong stereo model range of which the entry point is this, a stand mount design, the 805 D4. It has a 165 millimeter or six and a half inch mid base cone, plus a forward firing port, and it can be mounted on a stand or a tabletop. It's joined by a floor standing model, the 804 D4, which adds a dedicated FST mid range cone to the configuration plus twin base drive units. The next model up, is the 803 D4. This takes that same five inch mid-range cone found in the 804 and houses it in a dedicated mid-range enclosure we call the turbine head, adding maximum openness and spaciousness to the sound. Take that same configuration and scale it and you come to the 802 D4 with a six inch design in a larger turbine head for more output in bigger rooms, coupled to more base extension from twin eight inch base cones. And finally, there's the flagship model, the 801 D4, named of course after that iconic 801 from 1979. The flagship design, it has twin 10 inch base cones and a larger base enclosure for maximum extension in bigger spaces. Now, if you're a fan of films and you'd like to partner any of these stereo models with additional loudspeakers to build out a home theater, 
we offer a range of solutions. First, we have two dedicated 800 series diamond center channels. The smaller model, the HGM82, uses a five inch cone and can be partnered very effectively alongside 804D4 and 803D4. The larger model, the HGM81, uses a six inch cone and can be partnered alongside 802D4 and 801D4. We also offer matching in-wall and in-ceiling loudspeakers from our CI800 series diamond range, plus of course our DB series of subwoofers to complete that home theatre experience. Now 800 series diamond is available in multiple finishes. There's the piano gloss back finish you can see here. That's joined by a rose nut finish, a very beautiful wood veneer. We'll have a white finish and a walnut finish to complete the set. We've also got new designs of magnetically attached grille, individual to each cone on each cabinet. Let's take a closer look at the design details. One key thing you'll notice that every model now has is an elongated tweeter on top form. It's longer than before to improve the acoustic performance, but also improve the design detailing. That's whether you've got a turbine head design or the floor standing and stand mount models at the entry part of the range, the 805 and the 804. That tweeter body, in fact, on those two designs goes all the way from the front to the back of the cabinet. The other thing you'll notice about both of these models is they now have a new shape, what we refer to as the reverse wrap form. We introduced it back in 2015 on the larger designs. We've now cascaded it into the 805 and the 804 as well. That means the driving is placed at the front of a single and extreme curvature, and the crossover componentry lives at the back behind a metal spine. That greatly improves the acoustic performance, but also, as you can see, does wonders for the design detailing. Every model in the range, from the smallest to the largest, introduces this new aluminium plate at the top. This both greatly improves the acoustic performance by stiffening up the system, but also provides a perfect carrier for that leather by Connolly detailing. And one last thing you'll notice is all of the models with plinths have a revised form for that plinth, both to improve acoustic performance, but also design detailing and stability. So that's the outside covered. Now it's time to take a look inside the new 800 series diamond and to uncover some of the great new technologies we've introduced. Now there's so much for us to cover that we're only gonna focus on the highlights, but we're gonna begin with cabinets. Now this, is a new 804D4. And as you can see, it's sporting that beautiful reverse wrap cabinet construction, which by itself makes the cabinet much stiffer and quieter than before. But we've gone further than that. On top of that, we have the aluminum top plate, which further braces up the system, improvements to the matrix, and most significantly, the addition of an aluminum plate on the inside face of the cabinet. What that does is provide a fantastic mechanical location point for all those drive units to bolt into and makes the cabinet even quieter than before. Now, what does that mean in practice? What we're gonna do is look at a simulation. This simulation first, you can see, is an older generation 804D3, and it's taken at around 700 Hertz. With simulations, what we do is use a combination of movement and color to show how energy or vibration is moving through a system. Essentially, the more movement and the warmer the colors, the more vibration there is in unwanted areas. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of that going on at the front of the cabinet, exactly where the drive units are. Move across to a new 804D4, and as you can see, we've solved that problem beautifully. Instead of all that unwanted vibration, the cabinet is almost completely inert at the same frequency. And that translates into a much more believable listening experience with less sound of the loudspeaker cabinet itself. We can look at a similar comparison on 800 and 801. First, you can see an older generation 800D3, this time at around 300 Hertz. And you can see, again, that vibration, that unwanted velocity moving through the cabinet. Compare that to a new 801D4, and as you can see, again, massive improvements in quietness, and as a result, a more believable listening experience than ever. Now, how have we enabled that on 801D4? Well, it has that reverse wrap cabinet, it has that aluminum plate, but in addition, it has a lot more metal elsewhere as well. Of course, the metal turbine head, the aluminum top plate we discussed, big improvements to the metal bracing on the matrix assembly, and the addition of a steel bottom plate too. The combination of all of these things make this loudspeaker cabinet the quietest we have ever produced. We've even added more metal to improve the performance of our two center channel loudspeakers, the HGM81 and HGM82D4. Look inside the cabinets in both models and you'll find an aluminum enclosure that houses the mid-range drive unit. The result is a quieter, more optimized location for it to operate. 
Moving on to internal components, all stereo models now benefit from rear mounted crossovers. This delivers a number of benefits. First, it isolates those sensitive crossover components from the unwanted air pressures that are moving around inside the cabinet, and that improves performance. At the same time, it also gives us more internal acoustic volume, and again, that's vital to help deliver better sound. And finally, we get the benefit of mounting the crossover parts to this metal extrusion at the back of the loudspeaker, meaning we can use the whole surface area as a heatsink. So that's cabinets and detail elements covered. Let's look at our three key drive unit technologies, all of which we're carrying on, but all three of which have been optimized with new features to try and maximize their performance. And in some cases, we've introduced revolutionary new technologies that really transform the way that they work. We're gonna begin by looking in close detail at our aerofoil base cone. Here, we've introduced the foam anti-resonance plug. This lives at the heart of the voice curl at the center of the cone, and what it does is support that and prevent it from going out of shape as the loudspeaker driving it goes lower in frequency. The result is more accurate, less distorted bass. So let's go to the other end of the loudspeaker and talk about high frequency. Here we've introduced multiple changes, beginning most obviously with a new elongated form for our solid body tweeter assembly. Now that longer form in itself improves the performance of the diamond dome by reducing the resonant frequency along the length of the tube. At the same time, we've also improved the decoupling system that joins the solid body assembly to the top of the turbine head or the top of the cabinet. That two-point decoupling system greatly improves the sense of openness and spaciousness, and it's applicable whether the product has a turbine head, as you can see here, or on the top of a loudspeaker such as the 805 and the 804. Finally, and in many ways the most exciting news of all, is the transformation we've delivered to our mid-range cone performance. We're carrying across our continuum cone technology. At the same time, we've done lots of work to improve both our decoupling and the motor systems in our chassis. But the key change is something entirely new and quite revolutionary in driving it design, and that's this part right here. This is our brand new suspension system, and what it does is replace the role of a conventional fabric spider like this. This is a traditional fabric spider, the suspension that generations of loudspeakers have used. It supports and centers the voice coil and is a key part of the controlled movement of the cone as it operates. What we've discovered is that in the course of its normal movement, a spider generates a small amount of sound. Effectively, it's like a very small speaker cone operating behind the main speaker cone. Now solving that problem required some unconventional thinking and this is the result. As you can see, it's a very open structure. We call it the Biomimetic Suspension, or BMS, and what it does is play that same pivotal role within the loudspeaker drive unit as a conventional fabric spider. But, and here's the key bit, it does all of that without generating any of that unwanted noise. This is how much sound the new Biomimetic Suspension generates at the same frequency as the fabric spider you saw before, and this is how the two compare side by side. As you can see, it's an extraordinary difference in performance and one that is clearly audible in the mid-range sound quality of the new range. So there you have it, the full story of the latest generation of 800 series diamond. For 40 years, we've worked to arrive at this point. Aesthetically and acoustically, this is the most advanced and capable range of loudspeakers we have ever produced. For all of us at Bowers & Wilkins, this really is everything that we know and everything that we are.